Thank you is very simplistic storytelling. It's intended to be a family entertainer, a story of change, of feeling gratitude. It's a good bedtime moral story to narrate to a child, but thematically or even craft-wise, the film has nothing new to offer. Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. You're watching Not At All A Review. My name is Hriday Ranjan. This week's movie is Thank You, directed by Vikram Kumar. The film stars Naga Chaitanya, Rashi Khanna, Malvika Nair, Sai Sushant Reddy, and Avika Gore. Director Vikram Kumar is one of those filmmakers who has quite the eclectic but interesting filmographies. His films usually come with an interesting concept, the kind that's called a concept movie. His filmography consists of films across romance, thrillers, and horror. In Thank You, Vikram Kumar whips up a story that plays out like a moral story. At 2 hours 9 minutes, the film thankfully plunges right into the plot. Naga Chaitanya plays Abhi, a youngster who lands on the shores of America in search of a job. He creates an app that revolutionizes healthcare. The app becomes wildly popular to an extent that, get this, he gets a statue at Madame Tussauds. In the last few years, we have seen a number of movies like Thank You. These are all stories written by men, made by men, for men. They all involve the hero in three phases of his life. One in school, where the hero is clean-shaven. Another in college, where he is with a beard. And the third, as a professional, wearing formal clothes. Now, Thank You is not very different. In spite of actresses like Malvika Nair and Rashi Khanna, the film is infatuated with Naga Chaitanya, who seems to have turned up on sets with three stock expressions. All through the film, I was waiting for Vikram Kumar's concept to show up in the movie and when it finally does in the first half, Vikram Kumar uses an uh, interesting narrative tool to launch into the flashback. However, that plot device is so dated that it coughs up unintentional laughter. I was curious about two technicians in the film. We have PC Sriram handling the camera. We get the usual sunlit shots and the silhouettes. But in this movie, PC Sriram makes some strange creative decisions. He becomes Max Sriram. We get extreme close-ups and rather unflattering extreme close-ups. It's like PC Sriram forgot his camera and turned up with binoculars. I was also looking forward to the music of Taman. But in this movie, Taman steers clear of his usual hard bass lines and thumping tracks, instead choosing a soft, folky soundtrack. Unfortunately, the cinematography and the music are not able to revive the flagging script. Thank You as a film has its heart in the right place, but good intentions are not enough to make a good film. The film seems so dated and the beats are unintentionally retro. We get college students, remember these are guys who are 19-20 years old, who threaten to kill their classmates over a hockey match. We get a zamindar who in a village threatens a family because his daughter fell in love with a commoner. It makes you wonder, are we in the 80s? The dialogues are all over the place. Sai Sushant Reddy gets a meaty role, but it is vegan meat. There is no real substance in it. For a film with three writers, the dialogues are rather shabby. They are all expositionary dialogues. The screenplay seems like it targets Alzheimer's patients because we see something play out on the screen and then the characters say them out. We get other lines that seem like actual placeholder dialogues. Like, allow now, baagunnan, nuvalao now, nein baagunnan. If the characters are feeling a particular emotion, we get them saying those lines out explicitly. Naga Chaitanya gets a role that is supposed to be the journey of a man towards atonement and redemption. But there is nothing here to look forward to. I was looking forward to Malvika Nair's role though. After stealing the show in Modern Love Hyderabad, she unfortunately in this movie gets a role where she has to stand, smile and feature in montages. Rashi Khanna seems to be screaming internally at the writers saying, Nako samako manchi script Rashi. Sai Sushant Reddy lets go of his charm and is made to scream and grunt. Srinivas Avasarala features in an extremely brief role, completely unnecessary. It is Srinivas Anavasarala. Even the film's central theme, that of gratitude, is rather basic. It's like a moral story that you would have read in primary school. Hello, thank you, 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 Thank you,
నన్ను ఇప్పుడు ఎవ్వడు ఆపలేదు సో నేను రేపు గోవా వెళ్తున్నా థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ హ్యాపీ జర్నీ షాల్ని నేను కూడా ఒకరికి థ్యాంక్ యూ చెప్పాలి షాల్ని రాజా థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ నాకు చిన్నప్పుడు డ్రగ్స్ ఎలా చేయాలో నేర్పించావు ఇప్పుడు నాకు ఎయిడ్స్ వచ్చింది నేను వారంలో చనిపోతున్నా ఇంకా నేను లైగర్ సినిమా చూడక్కర్లేదు థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఇస్ వెరీ సింప్లిస్టిక్ స్టోరీ టెలింగ్ ఇట్స్ ఇంటెండెడ్ టు బీ అ ఫ్యామిలీ ఎంటర్టైనర్ అ స్టోరీ ఆఫ్ చేంజ్ ఆఫ్ ఫీలింగ్ గ్రాటిట్యూడ్ ఇట్స్ అ గుడ్ బెడ్ టైమ్ మారల్ స్టోరీ టు నరేట్ టు అ చైల్డ్ బట్ థిమాటికలీ ఆర్ ఈవెన్ క్రాఫ్ట్ వైజ్ ద ఫిల్మ్ హ్యాస్ నథింగ్ న్యూ టు ఆఫర్ సో లేడీస్ జెంటల్మెన్ అండ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ బియాండ్ ద బైనరీ would i recommend this film to a companion not really in all honesty my review of the film thank you is no thank you thank you so much for watching our review of the movie thank you please subscribe to film companion south for more interesting videos reviews and interviews thank you sir mana jersey cinema adi pedda bill ochi hello i am bill raju thank you for watching thank you నేను ఈ సినిమాకి సీక్వెల్ తీస్తున్నా దాని పేరు సారీ ఈ సినిమాలో మన హీరో అందరికీ సారీ చెప్పుకుంటూ పోతుంటాడు ఎవరు సార్ హీరో అయ్యగారు ఐఎమ్ వెరీ సారీ